I'm not gonna grow younger. <laughs> that is impossible. <laughs> you're the only reason. Yes, you're the only reason. Baby, you're the answer to my <laughs> Hi, lovely people. Welcome to my channel. Well, it's going to be a short one. I just wanted to update you guys on where I am, especially on my pregnancy journey and what I've been doing and how I've been feeling and how everything has been going basically. Like, you know, you see this girl, she's fresh and fresh and fresh. <laughs> pregnancy is treating me quite well, okay? I'm feeling fine. Right now we are in the 20th week, guys. I'm like halfway gone, like, ah, I'm half journey gone, like seriously. I can't believe it that in January I discovered that I was pregnant and now it's already May. I'm halfway gone guys, September is just here like super 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 close. Uh, the baby is doing very well, it has started kicking, it started kicking like uh, when the pregnancy was like 18 weeks. I think it started earlier but I really didn't know that it was kicking, I just felt strange. And sometimes I felt like I was having like gases or something like that. But when, like after reading and hearing what people were saying, like then I knew that that was the baby moving. But right now it does move. Like it, sometimes I just feel like the side of my belly is just going up like this, <laughs> and I'm just like, mm, calm down, guy, calm down, calm down. Yeah. So um, the pregnancy is going really well. The baby is growing nicely. Um, I guess the last time I posted was when I was, was it like 16 weeks going? I think the last time I posted on my pregnancy journey was when uh, I announced the pregnancy as a matter of fact. Um, I can't remember when exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I've just been away. Well, what happened was uh, on week 18, I had to go in for the general, uh, for the, uh, how do you call it again, ultrasound test. And uh, since I'm over 40, I had to carry out some lab tests and then they, had, they, they did a cube test when I was 12 weeks. And then they had to combine all of those results again during the 18th week to really like tell me if everything was fine with the baby, you know what I mean? From the cube test, I was, they were saying that, well, um, you know, if you are over 40, the probabilities of you having a kid with Down syndrome is very high, so my percentage was, was it a percentage or was it a, um, a ratio? Yeah, they, they gave kind of a ratio and my ratio was like 1 in uh, 150 or something and they told me that because of my age, if I wanted I could go ahead and do the, um, yeah, they basically told me that if I wanted I could go ahead and do another test, I'll put the name of the test down here. Um, basically what the test, what you do under the test is that they stick a needle right through your belly, like into, into your womb and then they kind of extract the amniotic fluid in which the baby is floating because so they, they, I mean as the, from what they explain it's like the baby sends out rest, the baby's, uh, baby's skin also goes into that fluid and all that stuff. So from a sample of the liquid that would come out from the amni amniotic fluid, they could tell if the baby was healthy, if it, was, if it would have certain complications and stuff like that. But I'm just like, I mean, if they've already done an ultrasound, that tells me that the, the knockout, the knockout fluid that, that normally, I think they get it from the neck of the kid and from the size of the brain and from the body shape and all of that stuff. And from my blood test, if they tell me that the, everything looks normal, you know, everything looks normal and uh, that the only thing that could maybe bring bring complications just my age, well, I really can't do so much about it, you know, I really can't do so much about it, I'm only getting older. To tell me if the people's going to be normal or whatever, I'm just like, you know what guys, I think I'm done with tests, I think I'm done with tests. I just pray to God, God, that God should give me a healthy baby, but I don't care. How the baby comes out, I'm just going to take it because that is what the Lord has decided to give me. I cannot change it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a decision actually. So I decided not to go for more tests. Okay, I mean the percent. If it was like I don't know, if if the if the ratio was like one to three in survival, I'll be like, okay, guys, go ahead, do this test. 
but one in 150 something guys i'm like no and the thing that kind of scared me so much with this amniotic test thing was that they say one in 200 uh, one in 200 cases could end in abortion i'm like what if i'm if, what we, what if we are one of the one in 200 cases like you know no no <laughs> no everyone has the right to you know choose to do whatever they want to do but i think my probability ratios are not so alarming to kind of oblige me to do the amniotic test no i don't think so so i just go with my guts and 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 pray to the lord that they should bless us and bless our kid and everything and that everything be fine because the only thing that has to change their ratio is that if i you know grow younger but i'm not gonna grow younger <laughs> that is impossible <laughs> yeah so guys so uh basically that is the situation right now okay but apart from that i'm fine the baby's kicking it's doing its thing you know living its life the last time we saw it, it was just lying like some kind of <laughs> it was doing something like this it was just lying there and it was you know kind of like it was really moving but it was kind of like lying on its side I don't know if I showed you guys the ultrasound pictures. Let me go and bring them. Just a while. A second. Yes, yes. So this is the ultrasound picture, guys. This one is kind of like, I don't know. But anyways. This is the picture. Oh. Mm. Hoping to see you soon. <laughs> what else can I tell you guys? That I'm growing big. Like, I have run out of everything like <laughs> basically I don't know, i've like grown out of everything okay like i don't feel it no shit <laughs> you know, thing. so much so that i had to order some stuff which i'm going to try and i'm going to show you guys also okay i ordered a lot of i ordered i didn't order them i bought them from h m okay i bought a lot of stuff today from h m because really i was already feeling uncomfortable you know, I, I woke up this morning, I was like, I have no t-shirts, I have no tops like to put on with trousers. Even with the even the trousers I'm even talking about, they were tight, like really tight, they're getting really tight. So I had to go get myself some new stuff, which I'm gonna show you guys, okay? Uh this particular dress, I bought it, I ordered it, that was like a month or two ago from Zalando from Zalando, this particular dress, and um it is by Dorothy Perkins. I mean, I really love the color. I love the cut. I don't particularly love the material so much. I think it's polyester and uh, you know that kind of thing. If you don't wash it well, it gives this kind of smell, which I really don't like so much. But from the shape and the cut and everything, I really love it because it kind of stretches and it can really the pregnancy can actually grow into it. I love the dress. Let me show you guys a little bit. Uh, all right, I will show you guys the. Yeah, this is the dress actually. Yeah. You know guys, this is the this is the bomb at 20 weeks, you know. I wish I could be telling you guys that I'm 40 weeks, but no, it's just 20 weeks. So I wonder what I will look like when I am 40 weeks. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. This is the Dorothy Perkins dress. I really love it. Mm -hmm. And my hair guys, my sister is the one who did it. I really love it also. She is perfect with this. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, I have already started ordering stuff for the baby because I don't, I don't want for the baby. I I don't want to like really get big and then you know towards the last months I I I believe people get tired and all that kind of thing. I don't want to be struggling to buy stuff when I'm that tired. So I want to like buy everything right now, just prepare everything I need for the baby right now, so that during those last months. When I'm tired, I should just be laying down and trying to get my walk, okay? Um, yeah, because right now I do a lot of walking. I really try to do a lot of walking. Even though when I'm walking, like my hip kind of pains. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has this, but this hip, I don't know whether the baby is sitting on one of the nerve that is running through my hip, but oh my goodness. But I don't think that's gonna stop me either. I don't want that to stop me. So when I can, I make sure that at least in a week I, I walk like four days and um, yeah I do like sometimes I walk like for an hour 
yeah that's what i do and if i really don't have so much time maybe 30 minutes and then i walk I, even I, I still continue working at student alternate so i try to keep as busy as possible and i'm still going to school so nothing has really changed so much ever apart from the fact that i'm growing a little bit bigger i have bought some stuff for the baby also i think i'm going to do some on unboxing also so that you guys can see it okay and let me see how the the rest of this video first of all i am going to show you guys the dresses that i bought and then i'm going to do you guys the unboxing of the stuff that i bought for the baby mm? yes see you soon <laughs> 